The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Okay, uh, welcome, welcome to Unhinge uh, with the Door Dork. Today, we do have a very special guest, um, Mr. Aaron Kramer here. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. This one takes a second. Okay, what in the world? So, <laughs> we have an out swinging exterior door. I confirmed with Michael, this is a exit, an exterior exit on the back of a restaurant. And they made uh -huh. a screen door on the inside? Are those like operable windows on top? Yeah, it's like a weather door. What's, what are those called? Like, a, it's in, well, it's an in, in swinging door for the first place. That's that's a big no-no on that fire exit because people are just going to run right through that. Hopefully they can break through it without getting broken. Doesn't look like a, a sturdy door, but anyways, any any anything that you have to like run out and have two doors on your exit, that's 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 a no-no. Where is there I know like in Florida, there's you know different codes in place due to you know hurricane hurricanes and winds that come along with it. So like Residential doors, I know in Florida, a lot of times are out swinging, which is different than, you know, at least what we have here in Maryland and other places because of that hurricane that happens often. Does that apply to commercial also? So I, I would say when it comes to different codes, um, life safety trumps all of them. So right. if there is a life safety issue, like on a path of egress or an exit like this, it doesn't matter if it's hurricane rated, you still right, have right. to be able to egress in the case of that kind of emergency. What is that? Uh, so you have the push bar and then you have, I'm guessing a bolt on the top. What's in the middle? That's a knob. I don't even see a latch for that. There isn't a latch for that. You caught that. So, is that a decorative knob? So what Michael was telling me is they use the knob to hold the door in while they throw the bolt. The door's not aligned. Interesting. Use... That's why the top screens are in two pieces. Ah, okay. So they can... Uh... So that they just open the screen and they can adjust that. I bet you. I bet you they can lock up at the end of the night without having to open that screen door. Huh. What, what it... is that white thing on the top of the screen door? I think that's Whoa. the... Like a spring closer for the... Yeah, it's like the residential screen door closers. The pneumatic, you know. There's also a, a spring right here. So you've got like double action. That screen door has got to be slamming when you like right, pull right. it. <laughs> I was going to say, who didn't run through a screen door when they were little? I'm <laughs> sure by the looks of this one, even though it wants to open the other way, I'm sure in a in an emergency situation, someone's running through this. It, it wouldn't matter if they could run through it if the bolt is thrown, right? Also, that's that's a no-no on an exit door. Hopefully, they leave that unlocked during business hours, but you never know. It has a little, looks like a little magnet or some sort of contact on the top. Yeah, yeah. Good good eye. Some kind of a door sensor or security system. Mm -hmm. that they, they keep that door open and then they keep the screen door closed. They open up a screen to get some airflow or something. Probably. A, a lot of like kitchens, lack, yeah, you know, no. like ventilation, depending on the area of how warm or hot it is, they might want the, the cool breeze coming in. I can only imagine working in a, a hot kitchen. I, I don't do well in heat. Um, that's why I live <laughs> in Oregon. So <laughs> Yeah, we have a pizza place in town here. And the if you park in the back, the back door is typically always open. My favorite part about this is that decorative knob. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, just, just throw a knob on there. That's, that's fine. Yeah, they could have done like one of the like fence handles instead. That took a lot of extra effort, I feel like. Or they're somewhere in the restaurant and they're missing a knob now because they, <laughs> they just stole it from that door. Probably, probably like the bathroom that's now missing a knob. Okay, uh, knocking score. What do you guys think? I'm going to say, similar to what you said last time, I give it a five. You know, like there are some violations here, but it's not really that terrible. From a, from a violation standpoint, it's obviously not good. But, you know, it's functional. It's operable to some degree. They're just trying to make it work for themselves. Yeah, the, the kitchen manager is just trying to make it work, right? I applaud the ingenuity, but I think this is, there could be some life safety implications. So I think it's higher. I'm not going to go quite with the 10, although it could get that way. I'm in the seven an eight range for this because if it if it is bolted during operation which i doubt it is that's probably end of the night closing but there could be some some life safety issues here and especially even, having a, a barrier in between egress with the screen door is bad i agree i would say even if they are unbolting this during the day that they would need a sign on here code requires a sign on here saying that this needs to remain locked, unlocked during business hours or occupation or something like that by itself right now 
now and probably their typical use, it's not that big of a concern. But if worst case scenario, they had that door, they had the door behind it bolted, they could be really bad in the case of someone like breaking in the front door. I mean, this is still life safety, not just fire hazard or, or concern. But like if someone breaks through the front door, or tries to stick you up, this is your one excess out. So if it's thrown during morning hours or something like that, it could uh, lead to some uh, dangerous uh, situations. Okay, the final photo. Are you guys ready? I'm still confused about this one. So <laughs> let's dive in. First thing I see is going to close our cover. Yes. I like how the whole door has like a kick plate. You might as well have just done the whole thing. I'm wondering if this is in a hospital and they don't want gurneys or carts or anything bothering, marking up the door, but then what, what's the point? Yeah, it does, does kind of have a, a, a hospital feel to it, but I think, yeah, the, the oversized kick plates uh, might. <laughs> I mean, um, can we call it a kick plate? Yeah, it's, that's a, a, it's, like a, it's like an armor plate, but it's even bigger than an armor plate. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a body check plate. The, uh, <laughs> it, this one hits you in layers. Well, like, yeah. So it says tornado shelter, but it in swings. I don't know if that's necessarily a code violation. And I know you're like hovering around the trim and how there's no trim on one side, but there can be an inactive leaf. It looks like that right door is used a lot more often. Look at the plate on the bottom. It has like, yeah. the left one has like no use on it at all. Yeah. Um, what do you guys see up here? Exit, no rail. Right, interesting. And, and it's a, wait, is it an exit or is it a tornado shelter? Or maybe it's an exit to the tornado I, shelter? Or I, I was thinking that originally. Maybe it's an exit. Maybe this is a you know a way to get to a tornado shelter. Maybe it's not sheltered itself. What one thing about exits is uh, having a locking door on the exit side is a is a, <laughs> a no, and also requiring access control. Right, right. <laughs> through uh, free egress is a no-no. You should have a Rex or something up here if there is a some kind of access control. I'm guessing a latch retraction or something on the other side. I see it says elevator on the left-hand side. Yep. Is the elevator just adjacent to this picture? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe this, what's not clear is what's beyond these two doors. Maybe this is a way to get to an elevator also? It's a little hard to see also, but there's, it appears to be a mag lock as well. So like they have really secured this exit in some way or another. There's a little bolt right here. They do have an in-swinging door which is good for egress. The, the lock on a egress door is a no-no and you shouldn't have access control requiring for you to badge your way out. Or maybe that's just for the inactive leaf for the mag lock. What's that thing on top of the tornado shelter? Like an alarm of some sort? I mean, I guess that Camera? could be sensor. It kind of looks like a fire alarm almost like a... Right. Or, I'm not sure. That I, Feels like a camera. Could be a camera set up right there. Now... I need to know what's on the other side of this door. Right. <laughs> did Ron tell us? No, unfortunately, Ron did not tell us. <laughs> I guess the world will never know what's beyond this door. Is it? Is it an elevator? Is it an exit? Is it a tornado shelter? Who knows? Well, it doesn't have to be an exit, right? It just is on the path of egress. Yeah, path of egress, I guess. Yeah, sorry. So, and if that's the case, like it doesn't have to be an in-swinging door, mm -hmm. depending on the occupancy, if, if there is a larger occupancy of, I think, 50 or more, it, do, it would have to be in swinging um, or double leafs. But if it's not an actual exit, then we're okay with it being the other way as well. Uh, either way, if it is on the path of egress, you don't want to be confused while you're trying to escape an, an emergency. I would walk <laughs> to the store like, wait a second, what's going on? Can I get out? Is it an elevator? If it's a fire, you're not supposed to use elevators, right? What, where, where am I going? Like, I wonder if they have some sort of alarm system that if like a tornado is coming, the alarm system might unlock this door. Like mag locks and stuff like that? I would just say if there's any situation where it's tied into a fire alarm or something like that, there's got to be a backup system as well. And there's no visible backup emergency override, something like that. There's got to be two forms of egress through going through this path of egress. The okay. mystery, the mystery yeah. here is killing me. Yeah. You know, I wonder the, if this is like it's a facilities room and there's like a freight elevator in there for facilities, but also that room acts as a shelter and there's probably access to outdoors as well. To three in one. Yeah. <laughs> three in one door. Yeah. It's, it's basically all the utility stuff you don't want to see in the pretty area, but it's also safe for windstorm. Triple threat. 
that's a good one. That's a good one. Anyway, uh, the, the, the best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. So especially <laughs> in case of an emergency. Yeah, I think in any situation, you know, if you're a door hardware geek and, you know, you're in a situation like this when you have to get out and it's an emergency, but, you know, you first have to figure out what the deal is with this opening and then you can exit. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of that door that we had that was um, leading to emergency. It was a, an exit towards like what was nuclear waste plant or something like that. Like there was hazardous material in this door, but it was also... Oh exit. yeah, it was on the path of egress. It was when Katie Flower was on. Um, yeah, yeah. This kind of reminds me of that door, except for this is a tornado shelter instead. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any last remarks on this very confusing, complex, triple threat uh, life safety issue before we give it a knocking score? I think we would define that it's just a mysterious opening forever. All it really needs is a, this is not a door <laughs> sign <laughs> to complete this. All right. Knocking score. I don't even know. The, here's the thing. It. This doesn't, this looks like it was planned in, right? This does not look like things were added. added on after. So this looks like it was a fairly new construction or a full renovation and everything was put here. Like, I think there's reasoning for everything here. And we probably missed the explanation, especially because this is a very tight crop. I don't know how to rate this because I feel like outside of this picture is the explanation of what is happening. We need a zoomed out view. So, so I, I feel like we're, it's probably, I'm, I'm going to go five because I just don't know. I don't, not enough information provided. Oh, I guess, I guess I could uh, tell you that Ron uh, Huffman is a fire marshal and he was inspecting this facility and he called out this exit for a reason. Yeah, it definitely feels similar to me. It's just hard to know what's what, you know, certainly if it is an exit and, you know, it has access control on it and, you know, it's, a, that would be an issue but let's pretend that it's not and it's just you know a way to get to an exit so that's not that big of an issue i'd also i'd say similar you know five five and a half in terms of the kick plates you know they look a little bit funny but that's not really an issue you know overall it's you know it's operable you know it seems pretty secure it's not crazy violations if we're going the non-exit route i think it's right in the middle i would agree with you if this is truly not an exit which it doesn't appear to be an exit anymore maybe it was transformed into a tornado shelter for or an elevator for the renovation if that is the case they definitely need to remove that well lit sign like that is on as an exit because in the case of emergency and someone is panicking there needs to be no explanation on a door it should be self-explanatory how to get out that door you're just following those exit signs so right if it is an exit i would say this is very right. bad but if it's not an exit then it's just a confusing door right like you just don't know <laughs> Thank you, Mia, as always, and Aaron. I appreciate you joining us today. Um, it's a pleasure having you on the show and uh, giving your uh, door hardware nerd uh, knowledge to the rest of the door hardware nerds out there. Um, pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you for uh, for joining us, Aaron. Appreciate it. Uh, join us uh, for the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. <laughs> If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, leave a comment down below. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date when future videos come out. Thanks for watching.